What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Turtle Darkness Sandy's Requiem. In the last episode, I'm gonna start playing as Edward Wave as himself. And he's a pretty cool guy and he doesn't afraid of anything. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, we we're also told by the freaking ghost of Maximilian Pegasus, I mean, Royvis, that, um, that we need to set the clock to 3.33, and while there's a clock downstairs, it's the wrong clock. Uh, the problem with setting the clock is we don't have the hour hand, and we need the hour hand, so let's go look for the hour hand. Explored the entire first floor, we couldn't find crap, actually not the first floor, the ground floor. I just got mixed up with that as a kid, and apparently I still do get mixed up with it. Um, brooding, melancholy painting adorned the walls. Strange choices of decoration for a bedroom. Each one sees with the very lens can only have been wrote by an unsound mind. Let's see a lightning strike again. Please, I want to see. I want to see the picture. Oh, scary. I would not want that in my room. Faces looking down at me. It reminds me of that creepy pasta, you know, faces. Whoa, that guy walking also scared me. I totally thought that was like some weird demon thing. Holy crap, that actually terrified me. <laughs> There's a fireplace that sits in the earth and the wall faces the, uh, the bed. No doubt, if I were lit, it would make the room quite cozy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kurt, yeah, ask if I'm in good health. Yes, I'm in good health. Courtesy, the servant asks if I'm in good health. What the heck is this? Okay, that's another creepy picture. It looks like a guy with a bunch of babies, and dude, that's weird. Okay. Ooh, that one looks weird. Okay, I mean, at first it just looked like a bunch of waves, but it looks like there's a weird humanoid looking thing walking in the water, but it doesn't really look human. It looks like a white zombie or something, like a Rob zombie. Anyways, I don't know if you guys have heard of the creepy past of the faces where a guy is walking, gets lost in the woods, it gets dark, he finds a cabin, no one's home, he sleeps, he goes to bed, and as he tries to fall asleep, he notices the, there's a whole bunch of paintings of faces all around the walls. When he wakes up, the faces weren't there, there were only windows. Or the paintings weren't there, there were only windows. Do -do 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 -do. The master bed bathroom is woefully spartan and only barely contemporary. It appears to satisfy the most practical of tastes and perhaps or perhaps someone who has their mind set on other things. Like me! Okay, we're seriously running out of options here, so I really hope I find this hour hand soon. Because I uh, maybe have to, like... Ooh, what's this? We have to, like, um, do something, like, some MacGyver-type shizzle, like, not use an actual hour hand, but, like, a freaking pencil or something. Delicious landscape, we're expecting the fear of the American colonists. The painting predates the 18th century, the priceless treasure. Edward has taken care of it by brushing off dust dirt with rubbing alcohol. Cool. Dude, I'd be terrified, like, if I read something like, How to restore a painting online. He was rubbing alcohol to rub off all dirt. I'd be like, I'm scared, this is gonna ruin the painting. I'd be terrified of that. I guess it would really depend on the kind of paint you use, too. That's what amazes me, like, how people back then knew how to do all this crazy stuff. It's like, how would you know how to do something so obscure, or, like, clean off an old painting? Spartan bed, vaguely fashioned after colonial trends, offers small comfort to the wary. It hasn't been slept in a long time, and that itself is a testament to its luxury. I guess Maximilian Royvis was the last guy to own this house then, right? Uh, Journal of Family History rests on the bench. Pick it up, up, up. Why is there an apple symbol on here? Freaking apple. And there's found a historical journal. All right, let's take a look at what that reads. An old musty book bound to a dry, dusty leather. The book uh, covers the recent history of the Royvis family going back to perhaps 150 years. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Should I ever get it up? Please tell me to see our hand. Yes! Ha ha! Victory is mine! Ha ha! And once again, these guys scared me. I'm not used to actually seeing people. Yeah, okay, you just say some text I don't care about. Edward is reassured at the side of the family gun cabinet itself is a priceless antique. He would rather not have the smash the window get inside. Where do you leave the key? I don't freaking know. I don't have a key, do I? No. I don't really care about that, do I? I don't like using guns in this game. Elephant gun? Is it an elephant gun? That's awesome! This room has become a second late night study. Edward has grown accustomed to the ancient feel of this Civil War theme room and feels he can concentrate quite well in it. This does look like, or feel like a really cozy room, doesn't it? The flag up there. I mean, well, we might as well like, finish exploring the rooms. I was totally talk, kind of talk to that woman, that servant. I was going to call her a nurse. She looks like she's in a nurse thing. Uh, I saw the exam symbol. Where is it? There you go. The room is a holdover for the days when the servants were residential help living in the mansion. Rumor has it that the old servants' quarters were demolished long ago. 
The old servant servants' quarters. I feel like I should know about that, but I don't. Actually, I probably do. I'd probably that's probably one of those things where I'd remember. Okay, fine then. Fine. You probably won't have anything useful to say, anyways. That's totally gonna screw me over because I guarantee you that's like the one server I need to talk to, and then like I'd get some useful info or something. Hey, I need the pee. Woman. I'm wondering to herself if she works. The server comments to how the match is. It's never really clean. Wow, I feel like that'd be a bad thing to talk to the guy who's, you know, you're serving. Let's see, let's see, examine. Okay, I, I figured you could maybe open that medicine cabinet, but I guess not. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. examine this. And never be too safe. Uh, I guess the old servants' quarters are in here. What did I use last time to do that? Was it the spell magic or was it reveal invisible? I don't freaking know. Does anyone ever really know? Exorb in it and now it place stained glass window ends the hole. Whoever put it here had a little eclectic case and confirms Edward's beliefs that the mansion is more fully than a real house. I don't know what he means by fully, but let's go. Let's get out of here. We have our hour at hand, and unless this servant wants to talk to me, I think we've pretty much explored everything. All the rooms we have made available to us so far. Oh, there she is. I'm like, did you just disappear on me, woman? She forms out her last believe that the weather will worsen, that she hasn't heard it this bad for many decades. How old is she? She, she looks young. You know, whatever you say, oh, good lord. Edward, you and your bad stamina. A stamina, do, 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 do. Stamina. Do, 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 do. You know what? How much have we explored this mansion? Which I guess is actually pretty far in between. I still don't really know much about it. I mean, how to get from one room to the other, mostly. No, that's not necessarily true. I do know where a lot of rooms are off the top of my head, but. My internal map kind of sucks. The ghost has to. Okay, yeah. I need to set the hour hat. Yay! 333! Uh, yeah, I'll adjust it. Uh, all right, three thirty. There we go. Okay, automatically do it. Maximilian. Yeah, I still can't go over. That's really freaking cool. I'll be like, you know, he's talking to his ancestor. Technology? Why don't you allow me to do this? Well, there's a the tomb of eternal darkness just sitting there. Take them and use them. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my waste. Um, that's never gonna happen. Oh boy, we're going to the basement. We're gonna go to the city and we're gonna get our freaking faces punched in. There's a. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible. They're freaking loading me up so much with weapons. Oh god. Is there a key elephant gun ammunition? Yeah, that might be useful against the guardians. I kind of feel like the elephant gun will be nice. <laughs> One of the few weapons I'll actually might like to use. A detailed drawing of surreal city, reminiscent of the old ideas for futuristic cities. The draftsman, however, was talented for as he stares, he believes tiny inhabitants peer at him from the shadows. That is actually kind of creepy. I feel like that's one of those pictures where it's like you would put, um, uh, backwards. We just read that not too long ago, so I'm going to read that again. Camels. This room sucks. No one's cleaned it forever. Stupid servants not doing the job. There's a letter book, tomes in the midst of the piles of paper. Yeah, I picked it up. So I guess the Tome of Eternal Darkness pretty much shows up wherever the heck it feels like it. Cool, so now I have all the memories and we know what's going on. Pond the Dust of Mad Men in Mexico. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, frantic scribbling of the torn uh, notepaper I led someone weathered for years. Were these Maximilian's ravings laid out in choppy scrawls of ink? But testaments of human savior waiting to fuel the battle against the guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> you know what? I was hoping I would find a key in here, but it doesn't appear to be in here. That is really. You no, know I just realized there still isn't the observatory room in here. Maybe after all, maybe. I guess this isn't. This probably won't lead to his death end now, will it? Because it'll probably lead up to the point where it's. What the hell is that thing? Well, we know where I can't get the blood oak girl came from now. The hell? Is that the key? What is that? Looks like another gun or something, to be honest. She's an evil, 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 evil. 
Yeah. Bam! Chicka lamb bam! Yeah, she definitely had that scream dough. Alright. What is this gonna give me? Half a key tumbles out of the vase that has been toppled and smashed. It glints on the floor. Alright. Bottom half of the basement key. What? Full realsies? Well, we do have the Tome of Eternal Darkness now. Let's see what this new spell is. Magic pool. Oh man, it's spell 10 is just gone. Uh, a dread scroll contains the secret of an arcane magic. It reads, this magic transfers the innate magical energy of the environment to the self. The limitless power of the ancients will be at your disposal for the duration of this magic. Once magic has waned, you will, um, you will bear bereft the, of spiritual power until it naturally seeps back into your being. Tear and Red Gomer Ruins, which I have both. So I don't know why it's not letting me... Huh, I guess I need the Ruin to be able to use it. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, I guess this chapter will lead up to the point where... Okay, she finally exploded. Good. <laughs> I guess this will lead up to the chat or to the point where Edward's like, I gotta build an observatory so I could watch the planets and align and blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Alright. And yeah, let's go through the room and see all the other evils. Hello, are there any evils in here? Evils! No, there are not. Oh, I heard a door open. That's kinda creepy. I mean the music has changed. It was never really nice to begin with. Where's this other key? I have no freaking clue. Are you trying to attack me? I'm unsure if trying to attack. Okay, you're not trying to attack. Good. <laughs> if you're trying to attack, I would kick your butt. Wait, is this... Oh, see... Wait. Is there not the fireplace in here where I... What? What room is this? What room was that? I have no clue what room that was. So just through here? Do I just hear- Do I gotta like knock this down or something? So the bomb have the key in another vase? Uh, I guess it wasn't in this room. It wasn't in the hall- There was no one in the hall, was there? Sitting in the hall room! I don't- I couldn't really tell what room of the house that was. Just, oh, I guess I found it. I will murder you! Let me murder you, god dang it! Are you, are you an evil now? Do I have to kill you? Eh. Eh. Talk. Chicken by his brush with death, the servant gives his stakes. He warns that a creature might still be around. An extra firepower behind you. Reminded by his own words, he, fi he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to row. So I wonder if I'd be able to ever kill him. <laughs> Maybe he has infinite health. Infinite health this is. Alright, now I gotta find where that room is again. See, it's like I don't remember exactly where that room is. Alright, I'm just waiting for this cutscene to pop up again with this asshole. Maybe it's on a timer. That would make sense, to be honest. Uh, I believe it was this room, right? Yeah, it was. Be on I'm kind of on edge now. I'm expecting just walking around these rooms and be jumped by my peoples. What do you mean I can't use it? I have the key right here! Oh man, here we go again. That's down, down dares. Is he, oh, he's just gone now. So I'm just out of here. Here we go, I'm gonna work the first time, you butt. Give me the key! It's now unlocked, yes it is. The elephant gun! Let's go kick some butt. Mode, this function allows the character to change the fire selector on guns. Mode? Does it, does, oh, I... Maybe that means that shoots two at once? I guess? Well, we'll try both. Yeah, let's go downstairs and go see the dude he attacked. <laughs> Hopefully I'll make it there in time. Either way, I mean, I can't see if there being any downfall to me not making it in time or something. Like, there'll probably... If he turns evil, then I'll shoot him and he'll drop, like, an item for me or something. Oh, I'm still getting the saber. I thought I had the elephant. Gun. No! Bad! 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 Asshole, get out of here! Asshole! Hold on a second here. Let's use the elephant gun. Ah! Break free, you butt! Oh! Holy crap, that was powerful! 
Ah, I'm gonna die soon. Yeah. Did I do it? What's that? Ooh, that's the basement. I need the other key though. Ooh, I see things. How's oh, he healing? He's totally healing. Man, I wish I could just teleport like that. That'd be awesome. Holy crap. This gun is too strong for me. Uh, I should probably heal. Um. Yeah. Heal it up. Probably didn't need to overkill with a 7 point spell, but you know, you old swags. Yay! Did my dude die? I think my dude died. My dude died. died. I think actually I killed him. <laughs> By accident, because I'm, you know, I'm too strong. Alright, I guess I'm gonna call an episode here. Don't know where that asshole went, but I'm sure he'll appear any second. So what I'm gonna actually do is pause the game in between playing because I, I don't want the cutscene to appear in the middle of, you know, after I end the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free, feel free to leave a like so already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we'll hopefully find the second half of the basement key because that would be nice. Hmm. So, yep. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.